this trim piece off right here. You can use a trim tool or a small screwdriver. Just try to get behind here. Try to slide that out just like that. There's a little clip right there. Now we're going to take this trim panel off. Just use a trim tool. If you can get underneath right here, if you have a pretty thin one, try to pry that up a little bit. Just like that. You can get underneath. And flip this over. There's some clips that held it down. Disconnect the connector right here. Just push down on the tab. If you need to, you can use a pick or a screwdriver. And slide that connector off. Now we're going to go to here. Now take this panel off. Just use another trim tool underneath. Just pry up. that hold that on. Now we're going to take these screws out right here, right here, and also right here. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Now I'm going to use a trim tool and go around the perimeter and just pop the door panel off. There's all these push pins. slides up just like that. For this video we actually have the vapor barrier off. You don't need to remove that to remove this handle. Take this screw out right here and just use a 10 millimeter socket. And we'll just slide it to the outside of the vehicle. You can flip these over. Take these cables off. Just slide this off like that. Then this one goes up. Same with the bottom one. Slide it out. And then there's a little ball in there. And it just slides out just like that. Take the handle, slide the ball side of this cable in, and then slide this down. You want it to lock in place just like that. And then this is the top one. This piece is going to slide right down in there and slide down in there. Lock that in place. And this is going to go in and then slide towards the vehicle. Take the bolt. Is that the right bolt? Must be. Right? Take the bolt. Reinstall it. And snug it down. Take the door panel, make sure you slide the wiring harness through. And we're going to get the top part of the door panel on first. Try to slide down. Make sure the handle goes in the right position. There we go. If the handle's not in the right spot, it's not all the way down. That looks good. And then just give it a tap. 
and take the screws, get those started. Right there and right there. And this one's going to go right here. Snug those down. Take this piece. It's going to slide in position right here. Take the switch plate, line it up, line up the connector, lock it down, and line it up, and lock it in place. Now take this piece, just slide it in position. want to get it to lock in. Might need a screwdriver. There you go. That's good. <laughs> 